All right, Joel. A really great game. And what do you think about the game? Um, yeah, it was a tough one, man. It was a good win in the end. But um, the first half, mm -hmm. I think we got the, the game plan a bit wrong. Um, I think we grew into the game mm -hmm. and we got better as it went on. And we just realised that we weren't stretching them enough. Mm -hmm. And then when we, in the second half, we came out, we were at it. We were stretching them in behind, winning more second balls. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, Ethan showed great composure um, on the ball. Found Bobby and Bobby spun it in behind and Dimmy did his thing, got the goal. And I think the main thing is we kept that clean sheet. Mm -hmm. Just shows that togetherness. And yeah, we, we just wanted to get a win, especially for the, for the crowd that turned up today. It was so important. Uh, what was the instruction at half time from the coach? Just to stretch them, looking behind, there was so much space in behind that we weren't utilising, especially with the pace and power we have up front. Mm -hmm. We had Whisper up front, we had uh, Dimi and, and Chippy as well. Mm -hmm. With all that pace in behind and we weren't using it, we was all coming to feet. So he wanted us to, to stretch it and then be more aggressive on the press as well. And what's your assessment of, 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 of the midfield battle for you, for you today? Um, it was tough. Um, I wasn't at my best today in the first half. Um, I know that. And, um, but I, like I said, I grew into the game. And in the second half, I was much better. Um, it was Casey's debut today, playing for the first time in front of the home fans. Mm -hmm. um, I thought he did really well. Like I said, he grew into the game as well. But then um, they were good in midfield. They were tough. We knew they were physical. Um, but yeah, we made some good tackles in there, we played some good balls mm -hmm. and um, in the end we, we won the battle. What are some adjustments you see yourself making going forward? I just think we, we just need a bit more time together. It's still a fresh team, you know. Um, a lot of players that are, are playing to not play together, you know what I mean? We all play at different clubs, we have different systems. It's important that, that we get that time to, to build and um, have that togetherness. So like um, tomorrow we um, we have a day off and we're, we're all just doing something together, you know, team bonding, getting to know each other better. And I think that's, that's a massive part of it off the pitch. And then, um, yeah, like I said, moving forward, just using our, our strengths more, our power in behind, our, our pace. And um, yeah, I, I think that's what we're going to do. The coach, we believe in him and um, he's a really good guy. So um, like I said, his tactics and everything, we just need to believe in that and keep pushing forward. All right, for me, um, you were a pivotal part in the midfield today, especially in the second half. Mm -hmm. um, there were some times when you were running, running, just running, running, where you got the energy from. Um, that, that level of energy, does that come from um, youth training or it's just hard for wanting to represent the black green and gold? Yeah, it's, um, it is hard, it's mental, you know. Um, I got that second wind in around, in around the 55th minute. Um, I just got that second wind of energy. Once we got the goal, it, it lifted me. I know that we needed to keep that clean sheet and I, and I wanted to, you know, make sure we got that win for the, for the crowd that was out there, the crowd that showed up. It's so important. Um, so, yeah, like I said, that energy just, just comes from the heart, man, representing. I love being here. I love being out here representing Jamaica. It's an honor for me, you know, especially for my family as well. So, um, yeah, that, that's what it is. Man. And my final question, Joel, for the, the younger generation watching, what kind of advice can you give them from a physical aspect and a mental aspect of the game? Um, physically, man, the CONCACAF is, is tough. Um, there's a lot of athletes, there's a lot of strength, and um, just keep working, man. And mentally, you just need to be on it straight away. When you come here, it's, don't get me wrong, it's good vibes, but it's focus as well. It's, it's training right, it's preparing right, it's sleeping right. Um, off the pitch is so important, eating the right things, you know what I mean? Being professional. And we've got those leaders now in the team that are setting the example. So for the young ones, just keep training hard and the coach will give you a chance. Like Whisper's playing, he's 17. He'll give you the chance as long as you're putting in that work and that work ethic is there, you're going to get a chance. So, so keep going, keep believing.